The world has begun to desire the spirit of a thing more than the thing itself. The Hawaiians, in their tradition, speak of something called mana, M-A-N-A, -A, or mana, I'm not sure the pronunciation. It is the spirit that we imbue into a thing whenever we interact with that thing. A person may wear a worn-out shirt because they love the shirt. They have had so many good experiences in that shirt. A person may treasure a gift given by a loved one, a wallet, a keychain, an old piece of furniture, or a house inherited from a loved one. As we interact with these things, we imbue them with what the Hawaiians would call good mana or mana. Recently, I discovered that you can have something printed on an old Printing press, the kind where you have to painstakingly set every piece of type by hand. The service is very expensive, obviously, due to the labor involved. Why would somebody go to such expense when they could print themselves on their printer for a fraction of the cost for pennies or have a regular printer use a modern press it's because of the feeling that comes with that specially printed piece of paper you can feel it or at the very least when someone tells you this was printed on an old printing press, a typeset press where you have to put all the type in, then you are filled with a certain kind of feeling. For one thing, wow, that's crazy and kind of amazing that somebody went to all that effort. And it feels special. Right. And that's why someone is willing to pay way more money to have something printed in that way. Because it's special and you can feel it. And why is it so special? It's so special because of the love and care that went into it. It became imbued with the love and the spirit of the Maker. And that's the thing that we have lost and are losing. Soon, AI will be able to do anything that we can do without imbuing that work with any human love. And you'll discover that people will pay more and more for anything that is real, anything with mana, mana. So that technology inadvertently is pointing people toward the spiritual, making them long not for the thing itself, but for the spirit of the giver, of the maker, making them lean upon their intuitive sense, making them thirst, not for physical, tangible things themselves, but for the spiritual thing, for the intangible thing that attaches itself to the physical thing. 
And that's new. It's really old, actually. But it hasn't, the world hasn't lived that way in a very long time, for thousands of years, because we were trying to survive. We clung to the thing itself. And finally, we have begun to value and treasure the thing that lies underneath all of that. Amazing. <laughs>